Hello friends, this is Mainak from Civil Center and welcome to another video tutorial on Revit. So in today's lecture, we'll see how to create grooves like this in the Revit software. So as you have seen in many 3D drawings, these grooves are a common part in um, various uh, 3D uh, drawings here. So we'll see how to create these grooves in the uh, Revit software. So without wasting time, like we always do, get started. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, just make sure you hit the subscribe button because you can see how many awesome content we upload regularly and if you want to see the previous parts of this uh, video you can uh, do so using the links which has been given in the description in which every step has been explained in detail so uh, let's create a grid like this we'll create uh, first of all let's go to architecture here and go to components and uh, we'll just click on model in place and uh, don't want to save the project now so we'll select uh, here case work so so here let's select this casework name this casework one and after that we'll uh, select the face set the work plane and uh, pick a plane and let's select this work plane like this and you can show this also this work plane has been selected so after that we'll use the extrusion and uh, using the extrusion uh, let us just uh, start from here to here and after that we'll uh, click on escape and from here to here and from here to here click on escape uh, take the offset and a 3 inches offset let's take like this like this offset has been taken and after that uh, click on escape and after that select this uh, this is the offset which has been taken and now uh, you have this uh, trim extend like this you can do or just press ctrl plus z and then uh, just click on escape and then just we'll just uh, join this and join this also and here we'll join this and join this we'll trim this from up to here and up to here you can use this trim Just select this like this and take the line again and just join this so it should be a closed loop so that's why I'm closing the loop here and here uh, this is the what has been selected let's click on escape and select the entire thing and uh, the by the way the extrusion as you can see extrusion will just uh, change the extrusion here extrusion as you can see this is uh, one feet so we want uh, let's say three inches extrusion apply and click on this and as you can see this extrusion has been applied the formwork has been applied so let's create like this along this corner also so here I will go to create and uh, here we'll just set the plane pick a plane okay and this time we'll select this plane and then show this plane so this plane has been selected so use the extrusion once again for uh, this uh, let's take up to your 5 feet and click on escape take from here your 5 feet click on uh, enter and then uh, join this escape take the offset and the 3 inches offset will take enter set down down done so now using the trim command we'll just do this after this is done and what we can do is we can just take this up to this much this also up to this much so we'll just close the loop And after doing this, this let's close the loop here. Escape. The loop has been closed. And then click on this tick mark. So as you can see, we have made a design here. And after that, we can also check in the uh, in a shaded view as well. So this is the design. Now we'll just move on. 
and do some groups here create some groups here so for creating the groups uh, first of all here uh, we'll just in go to insert and or create and then uh, click on sweep so we'll just select this pick path here and uh, we'll select uh, this option here and as you can see uh, this has been done and after that uh, i'll go to this uh, modify path and just click on this tick mark and after that we'll go to create and this what this modify sweep and then uh, you'll have this profile select profile you have this various profile or you can just click on this edit profile and after you click on this edit profile you can go to the front view and uh, change your profile here select this and let's go here full on and then go here two inches or six inches enter and then here two inches enter six inches enter and just to do this another one just select up to this and then six inches and then here two inches and after that we can i think copy select this one and this one so we selected this copy so like this we'll just uh, select this this is closed click on this and uh, view it in the 3d so it's like this it has been done and uh, just click on this tick mark so as you can see the groups have been made like this so if you want groups along this as well so here we'll just go to uh, create sweep and then uh, set set this pick a plane okay simply just select this pick path select this path and after that you can just move to the left view and create the sweep here and then edit profile and creating the profile here starting from here and three inches six inches two inches and then we can have the two inches here six inches and just click on escape and then click on copy then copy this and then just click on this Now after this is done just check it out and after checking it out just click on this uh, so now let's give the colors here and for the colors uh, you can select this and uh, you'll have this option of paint here and let's give the proper color to it if you want let's give this uh, ash color to this and you can check in this particular realistic view so it, it looks like this so let's let's uh, see the image it is ash and white so we'll just use this uh, white color white color for this and this we'll use the white colors and after that we'll also use this white color in here let's see the combination will look, look good i hope and now as you can see here just see 
how it is looking so as you can see this is how it looks so this is this is the particular view of the groups here if you want you can give a separate color to the uh, groups here like this it is in your hand so like this you can do and uh, can give a different color to the top portion as well so that's the groups here so this like this we can create the groups and the design of this groups in the revit software so if you found our video useful let us know in our comment section we can comment nice revit tutorial that would help us and encourage us to make more videos like this for you